Repairs Universe, bringing you another repair video today. Looks like we're going to be working on an Apple iPhone 6. This is the A1549 from T-Mobile. In today's video, we're going to show you the steps necessary to completely break down your iPhone and rebuild it. Before we get started with our disassemble, let's review our suggested tools. Small Phillips screwdriver. Small flathead screwdriver. Plastic opening tools. Suction cup. A spudger. SIM card ejection tool. Fine tipped curved tweezers. iPhone 5 point pentalobe screwdriver. A heat gun or a blow dryer. We're going to get started here with our brand new iPhone 6 right out the box. Before we start any of our disassemble work, let's go ahead and power the phone off. We can now go ahead and take out the two pentalobe screws, one on either side of our lightning port down at the bottom of the phone. So that we can bring up our display assembly from the base of our phone, we want to go ahead and use a suction cup on the display assembly closest to the home button side of the display. And pull that display assembly away from the phone base and you can utilize your fingernail or a plastic opening tool to go ahead and assist bringing the display assembly up. With our display peeled up, we're going to notice a metal protective plate in the top right-hand corner that's covering our four connections for the display assembly. Let's remove the five Phillips screws that are securing this plate. And then we can come in with our tweezers and gently pry up on each of the four connections completely separating the display assembly from the base of the phone. With our display completely removed, let's go ahead and break down each of its components, starting up here at the top with our earpiece speaker bracket, removing the three Phillips screws that are securing it down. We can then peel up the front-facing camera, which will release the earpiece speaker. We can now maneuver the assembly for the front-facing camera away with our tweezers. Let's bring our attention now down to the home button, removing the two Phillips screws on either side of the back plate. We have a small wafer connection that we need to release. You'll notice we used a heat gun or a blow dryer to soften up the adhesive on the small portion of the ribbon cable for the home button before completely peeling the assembly away from the display. The LCD backplate is secured with seven Phillips screws. You'll have three on either side of the LCD. and then one down near the, by the home button that you shouldn't forget. And before peeling up the LCD backplate, be sure to peel up the wafer connection down here near the home button side. Let's now bring our attention back to the phone, starting with the removal of our battery, the two Phillips screws that are securing the cover plate for the battery's connection,
We're then going to use our tweezers to release the connection here. And originally, the battery was equipped with pull tabs down towards the bottom. Using those pull tabs would have helped in releasing the adhesive that secures the battery into the base of the phone. Because we've previously removed our pull tabs and reinstalled the battery with adhesive strips, we are going to heat up the adhesive with a heat gun or a blow dryer to soften up the adhesive, and then use a pry tool or the flat side of our spudger to get under the battery and peel it up from the iPhone. Next, you can use your SIM card removal tool or a paper clip to take the SIM card tray out of the side of the phone. And let's bring our attention here to the rear facing camera in the top corner. Two Phillips screws. Secure the metal bracket for the rear-facing camera. And then the single wafer connection here that we can peel up from the motherboard and remove the camera. Let's go over to the other corner. We have a protective plate that's securing the connections down for our power and volume buttons we need to get out of the way. Two Phillips screws is going to take care of this. Next, we can pop those connections loose here with our tweezers. We have four additional screws securing this antenna into the top left corner. With those screws removed, we can then peel out that antenna using our tweezers. We have a small bracket here secured with two Phillips screws. Let's be sure that when we remove this bracket, we keep track of it as it is very small and it is going to be difficult to remember where it goes upon reassembly. Let's work towards removing our motherboard now. We have two Phillips screws up here near the rear facing camera. We have a standoff in the middle of the motherboard that we want to remove using a flat tip screwdriver. We have a wafer plug down here near the bottom of the motherboard for the dock port connector. And then right next to it is a coaxial connection that we need to peel up. A Phillips screw down here near the SIM card tray. and then one final Phillips screw here near the rear facing camera. With that screw removal, there's an additional small strap that we need to keep track of, similar to the grounding strap we took off earlier. With everything removed, we can now carefully maneuver the motherboard out of the iPhone. Let's take out our small bracket that covers over our flash. These two screws are going to secure the vibration motor into the bottom of the phone. Let's remove those and pull the motor out. Our loudspeaker is going to be next in line. Four Phillips screws are holding it into the bottom of the phone. and it should lift right out with the removal of those screws. So our dock port and headphone jack assembly is going to be next. Secured with nine Phillips screws, we can go ahead and remove. Let's be sure to keep track of the bracket that's tied onto the back of the lightning port connector for our reassembly.
We're going to use a heat gun or a blow dryer to soften up the adhesive to make maneuvering the assembly out of the bottom of the phone a little easier. Let's bring our attention now to the power button and camera flash assembly. Secured with three Phillips screws into the side of the phone. Again, we'll use heat to soften up the adhesive to make peeling up the ribbon cable a little bit easier. Our volume buttons are going to be last. Again, three Phillips screws in the side of the phone. And carefully peel up the ribbon cable from the adhesive. That's a complete tear down for the iPhone 6. And we'll show you how to go ahead and reassemble it. Let's begin the reassembly of our iPhone 6, starting with the power button and camera flash. Positioning the camera flash into its housing properly, snapping it down into place. And positioning the power button into the side of the phone and securing it with its three Phillips screws. We can then bring in the volume buttons and position them into the side of the phone as well and secure them as well with three Phillips screws. Next, position the back plate for the camera flash. You're only going to want to secure this with the single Phillips screw down at the bottom. Next, we have our dock port. Maneuvering the dock port back into place is a little tricky. You want to start on the headphone jack assembly side first and get that positioned properly. And then work your way towards the center, the lightning port and then properly press down on the ribbon cable. Once the dock port is seated, you can position the bracket that's just behind the lightning port connector and then secure the entire assembly with the nine Phillips screws. Let's now maneuver the motherboard back into place, working our way around the ribbon cables. We can begin securing it with the Phillips screw down here by the SIM card tray first, and then our standoff in the middle of the motherboard. Remember, we have to use our flathead screwdriver for this one. Remember that little strap by the rear-facing camera we mentioned previously? We can go ahead and install that right now, positioning it into place. 
and securing it with a single Phillips screw down at the bottom of the strap. We have another Phillips screw to help mount the motherboard right over top of our standoff. Let's drop in our rear facing camera into the top corner, securing the wafer connection into the motherboard, and then installing the back plate over it, securing it with our two Phillips screws. Remember our other little grounding strap. Let's not forget to position it into place and secure it with the two Phillips screws, one on the frame of the phone and then one down into the motherboard. We can now reinstall our antenna and secure it with the four Phillips screws. Next, we can secure the connections for the power and volume buttons. Installing the back plate over top of them, securing it with the two Phillips screws. Our loudspeaker should drop right into the bottom of the phone. Let's secure it with the four Phillips screws. Positioning our coaxial connection plug into place and locking it down into the motherboard. and then connecting our wafer connection for the dock port assembly. Next, we drop our vibration motor back down into place and secure it with the two Phillips screws. And let's now reinstall our battery positioning it into place on top of our adhesive strips and then securing the connection down here. Covering the connection with the metal protective plate and securing it with two Phillips screws. Let's now reassemble our display assembly, starting with our home button, positioning it into place first. Next, we want to bring in the LCD backplate. This is going to allow us to position the connection for our home button assembly. Secure the wafer connection and then install the backplate with the two Phillips screws. Finish securing the metal back plate with the three screws on either side of the LCD.
and then we want to bring in the front camera assembly. We can now position the front facing camera assembly down into its housing, leaving the actual front facing camera folded up until we position the earpiece speaker into place, and then run the ribbon cable over the earpiece speaker, locking down the actual front facing camera into its housing. This whole assembly is going to be secured with a metal back plate and three Phillips screws are going to lock that down. This completes our display assembly that we can now bring back to the base of our phone. Let's position the phone so that we can start securing our connections down for our display assembly. With all four of our connections secured, we can bring in the metal back plate that covers these and lock it down with the five Phillips screws. When you're positioning your display back down to the phone, you want to start at the top portion of the display up by the earpiece speaker and position its top hooks into the base of the phone and then continuing to secure the display down the sides of the phone until it's flush all the way down to the bottom. Once the display is flush with the base of the phone, you can reinstall your pentalobe screws, one on either side of the lightning port. and then reinstall your SIM card tray into the side of the phone. At this point, you can power it on and check for full functionality. All of the replacement parts and tools that you've seen in this video today are available at www.repairsuniverse.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.